Good day, my name is Shoal, I work for Micrographics and uh, we can be found on the web at www.mgfx.co.za Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to create stepped foundations and um, there are many ways to create uh, stepped foundations, I'll just show you uh, one of those. Right, so on our screen we have a small little building I'm just going to go to the and what we're going to do is we're going to just step one of these uh, walls and make sure that we can uh, apply uh, foundations to them um, making them uh, continuous stepped foundations All right now the first step is uh, to go and create a f level alright now I'm going to create a level uh, over here and I'm going to call this top of foundation Right. It can at this point be at any. Uh, at this point, can be at any uh, level. Right. What I'm then going to do, I'm going to take these walls by just tabbing them, uh, copy them to the clipboard, and then pasting them to a sp specific uh, level. Now, it's going to give me a problem because there are overlapping uh, walls over here, but that's not a problem. Uh, I was going to close that uh, warning and I will then just change the top of these walls to be um, the correct level. Uh, just change uh, change that uh, top offset, there we go, uh, and then to the correct level, there we go. Alright, so we've got now a series of walls uh, here at the bottom and uh, that's separate from uh, these at the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zoom out slightly and I'm going to st uh, break these foundation walls uh, and split them at a specific point. Now obviously this the, the point at which you split these uh, walls is determined by the uh, natural ground level and, and so on. I'm just going to create a, a split over here and a split over there. So basically I have one, two, three foundation walls. Now if for instance this is the the highest level uh, the foundation will sit here and then step downwards towards the left I'm going to just select the second one here and create an offset to the bottom of this wall. Now the reason why I'm using 300 is that um, my thickness of the foundation or the depth of the foundation is going to be 300 so I use this drop uh, in sequences or increments of 300. Right, so there's now the, the basic drop uh, of the foundations. Now if I then go and look at this at a, um, at a, uh, in a 3D view, you'll notice there is the three uh, foundation walls. Right, I'll then go to the foundation tool. So all the prepping is now done. I'll go to the structure area, walls, foundation, and then I'll use the appropriate uh, foundation that uh, that you can set up. If there is a size that you don't that you need that isn't here, you can always edit and duplicate and create your own size. Okay, so this one is 900 by 300, as uh, as I mentioned. Right now, as you then select uh, these foundations or, or walls, you'll see that they get a foundation. Now the reason why um, I had three separate items is that I can then take this object here which is then connected to uh, the wall and it's got a, an end grip. That end grip I'll then pull in 300 below the other and so I can go on and do the same for each of these uh, six segments and uh, I'll then have a continuous um, foundation uh, wall or foundation that is cast as it uh, is. Right, it'll also then, the, the volumes of this foundation will then be um, uh, correct because of the, the, the proper overlapping of the, uh, the one above and the one below. Right, so that concludes the uh, video. Um, as I said, there's many other ways. Um, I will, uh, this is just the one that, uh, that we have shown you and um, thank you for watching.